What's up everybody, this is Jack Sputnik here and today I'm so excited because we are, we are going to talk about super important subject which is sound. Maybe it doesn't sound that fascinating but today I want to give you an answer how to record sound that not only sounds great but also doesn't cost you a lot and is very like easy to use in any circumstances. So if you want to record like in a studio like I do right now or if you want to record outside do some vlogging style or you know you do travel videos etc we want to test three different types of microphone one microphone is this lavalier wireless microphone that I have on me right now and this is by Saramonic so it's a good low budget wireless solution for when it comes to lavalier microphones, lavalier microphones, difficult to pronounce. Then we have this micro shotgun microphone. Uh, this one is Boya BYMM1. I really don't know why they have to make it so complicated, but this Boya, this fluffy, you know, that cat something, um, is in fact a small, uh, very difficult to get rid of it. It's a small, shotgun microphone one of the you know key features of it is that it doesn't need any battery but we want to test it how does it perform in real life so how does it perform in the studio my studio doesn't have a lot of sound treatment so it's 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 pretty fair test and then we will see how this tank perform in the field when vlogging and finally we have something great i've been sent this microphone by comica it's a new microphone, so probably not a lot of you guys have, have seen it or not a lot of you guys have tested it. So this is a shotgun microphone that uh, is charged with USB-C and this is omnidirectional microphone. Uh, it's, supposed to be, um, it's supposed to be competing with uh, Rode NTG plus or I would say it could uh, compete with Diety microphones if this is how you pronounce it because of the design you know of the construction here you have this knob to increase and decrease volume so those are three microphones that we will compare today and see which is the best choice possible but of course as always I see you guys after <laughs> Let's start. Uh, let's see what those microphones have to offer. When it comes to Comica, when you open the case, this nice hard shell case, I don't know how to call it, but you know what I mean. You have this muffler or however, you know, this wind cut thing. Then you have a dead cut cover. So if you have some windy circumstances, you can use this thing. And I'm pretty sure it will perform well. But of course, we will see in the field how this microphone do its job, okay? You also have an extra cable to connect, uh, cable to connect with, with your camera. You have, a, you have an extra cable to connect uh, this microphone to your phone. And you have a USB-C charging cable. I didn't use it because I have tons of USB-C charging cables. It also comes with this shock mount here just to, you know, uh, avoid any you know uh, unnecessary sounds unwanted sounds when you walk with this microphone so this is what it comes with and finally you got the microphone itself the microphone itself has two types of wind cut 75 and 150 and when you turn it on by long press it will indicate the battery level how uh, much you have left which is actually an awesome feature to have because a lot of you guys may be worried, okay, if I need to charge microphone, this is probably not for me because I will always forget about charging this microphone. But I left it on purpose on for 48 hours now and it's not even half of it is, is, is gone. So really the capacity of this battery is awesome. And what is also very good, it's made of metal and you can adjust volume here you see you have this knob you can adjust the volume anytime you want 
and you have a uh, you know scale from one to ten no steps it's very smooth and it really reminds me of Diety microphone um, which is a very good microphone so let's see how this microphone performs so we will listen to all three microphones that I showed you before the intro one by one to see which sound would you prefer in the studio and then we will go to the field and after doing all these tests we'll draw final conclusions okay so now first I won't you know record anything special with this uh, Saramonic microphone the wireless system because you already hear how that microphone performs so now let's switch to um, Boya microphone maybe let's leave Comica as the third microphone and now let's switch to this. and let's switch to this little guy which is Boya microphone okay okay so this is the sound of Boya MM1 microphone and now uh, we are recording the studio as I said before I have no extra you know sound treatment here in, in the studio so it's just a room with sofa and with other stuff here with my computers um, so so this is the sound you get directly from Boya I have the dead cat on um, but I could take it off but it doesn't really make any difference because there's no wind in the studio obviously so this is the sound quality you get with this system that needs no charging you just plug it and you can start recording right away so uh, I hope you guys enjoy this sound and now let's go uh, straight to Komika shotgun microphone and let's see how this guy perform okay guys and this is shotgun microphone by Komika and I forget to mention the name let me read it because the names are always complicated CVM VM 20 so I guess it's video microphone version 20 I have this loudness knob on the back of microphone set to 5 and I had the same levels in the camera so uh, you won't complain at different noise levels or anything like that but the most important fact is that this is the sound quality you get from that microphone again as I said like the battery life is is, is spectacular you can charge it with you charge it with USB-C it charges pretty fast um, so I didn't need to mount it on any kind of um, you know boom pole it's just mounted on my camera and this is the sound in my studio okay there's one more test to do and I totally forgot about it because probably you will ask about it I would personally so this is the test of those microphones on a boom pole so now this microphone is like a little bit up from the frame you see like it's actually here I can even touch it so you can hear a little bit bump um, so this is how Komika now performs like when it's close to my mouth like it's actually directed uh, uh, toward me and it's very close not on the camera but on a boom pole so this is the sound quality you get and now let's listen to Boya microphone in the same scenario of course there's no point of uh, placing Lavalier microphone on a boom pole because we already uh, heard uh, audio quality from that microphone but now let's listen to Boya micro shotgun microphone okay okay and this ladies and gentlemen is Boya microphone BYMM1 on a boom pole so it's just right here only this little tiny bit above the frame so this is how it sounds in that case scenario so now guys as you can compare those you know microphones the sound of those microphones I want to invite you to the field let's do some vlogging tests and see how those guys perform in the wind so then we can draw final conclusion which is the best solution if you're on a budget you only have, want to have one microphone you don't want to spend a lot of money you don't want to use extra recorders like zoom recorders and and basically be ready to record anytime okay so come with me we'll go to city center of the town I'm living in which is Faro in southern Portugal so this is the sound straight out of the camera so this is how Sony a6400 records when it's 
you know, like when the sound goes straight into the microphone of the camera. And this is not, you know, uh, the main theme of this of this uh, comparison, microphone comparisons. But I just want to give you the idea how beneficial it is actually to use any kind of microphone. Okay, so now I'm recording with Komika shotgun microphone and uh, level are pretty standardized. So I try to keep the levels of the recording uh, pretty even. Uh, through all the recordings like Comica, Boya and the Lavalier by uh, Ceremonic. So this is what you can get from um, Comica microphone. It's a pretty windy day so it's good because I have you know this dead cat on it. Uh, if the wind gets really strong you're pretty you can uh, stick only to blimp but in this case um, this is the sound you get from this microphone. It's just a short comparison. One more test with Comica shotgun microphone. Now we have wind cut set to 75 and I'm very happy because wind is blowing so you can see if it really works, if it can really help you when you want to record out there in a the field like vlogging or doing travel videos or whatever you are up for. But this is how 75 works like. And now let me switch to 150. Okay, the wind is, is still blowing and we have the value set to 150, so this is how it works uh, in real life. And now, as you can see, you have the sample, you can already hear it, we'll switch to Boya microphone to see how that microphone performs, you know, in the field, in real life. So now we are recording with Boya microphone with this dead cut on. This is a micro shotgun by Boya and the wind is still blowing and you can probably hear it a little bit but i don't know if you can because i will listen to it in the studio but this is the sound you get directly from boya microphone when vlogging when having being outside and i'm not really far from the microphone i'm using wide angle lens right now so this is the quality of audio you get okay so the wind is blowing and now i'm using the wireless system wireless lavalier system from ceremonic and this is the audio quality you get. So this is, this is actually how it performs in the field in real life. And I think this is the last test uh, of the microphone now in the field. Okay, this test is about walking. So how do different uh, uh, microphones perform while walking? So can we hear them actually when I, when I move with the microphone? Or it's a great system for vlogging. So now it's a wireless system by Ceremonic. Lavalier system, okay? So this is how it performs when I'm moving. This test that I'm, I'm performing right now is a recording with Comica shotgun microphone and the wind is blowing and I'm walking so the microphone is moving a little bit so you can see if the suspension really does the job really well and if this type of recording is something you are up for and is it right for vlogging? So when I'm moving, when I'm in action, does it do the right job? Okay, and finally we are shooting now with Boya microphone and this is how it sounds when I'm moving, when I'm walking and the wind is still blowing, not that much like it, it was before but this is the quality, this is the audio quality you get when vlogging with that microphone. Alright, so I, I hope to see you in the studio right now. I actually thought that it will be easier to draw conclusions but to, to have one universal winner but to me, um, the perfect combination for YouTuber, for um, a uh, good YouTube studio is to have both a shotgun microphone, not the micro shotgun microphone, but the real shotgun microphone and a wireless system like that. This will give you a total creative freedom. So whatever scenario you come up with, whatever idea you have, um, whatever subject you are doing, you're good to go. However, if you're on a budget and if I'm forced to make decision, like there's only one microphone in a studio and I want to have only one microphone and do everything with just one thing, uh, this saves me like, let's say like money, space, and it's um, and the easiest setup there because this is also important because like wireless microphone, however, I, I love wireless microphones. They're not, um, super easy to set up you know you cannot just sit there turn on your your studio and you're done you have to you know 
put it under your shirt, like pin it, like uh, try to do it the way it doesn't look horrible and and so on and so on you have to turn it on turn it on here you have to charge um two uh pieces instead of just one piece so um there are downsides of wireless microphones so if you are on a budget and you want to have one solution that works great in the studio and in the field i would recommend a real shotgun microphone and uh, with a little disclaimer here, uh, not a big deal, but um, to get really good audio quality in the studio, it is better to, um, let's forget about this micro shotgun microphone, it is better to put it on a boom. So uh, like put it on some kind of a pole and, you know, hang it just over, oh, like here, over your frame. Or if you want to have it in the frame, you can do it like that. This guarantees a better audio quality and it went, when it comes to this comica cvm vm20 it it does it's 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 got a an awesome price um it does have two um wind cut systems here 75 and 150 uh it can show you it will show you like oh you see it will show you the charge level uh it's charged with usb-c port that you have here on the side it's just one cable and when you compare the size actually of this you know micro shotgun with with dead cat because uh honestly if you want to work in a field you have to have something on it with this boya uh with this comica microphone and you see one aside you know um you know you, you see them side by side it's it's not that big difference when it comes to uh size but it does make a lot of difference when it comes to audio quality so guys honestly like this you know suspension here this this system here is great this oled screen that shows you indicates your battery charge um this knob where you can quickly adjust your uh, you know levels of of um, audio input and you know like all the accessories you get like this um let me show you once again this hard case um that cat and like even charging cable you have everything included so i think this is a great choice for vloggers and youtubers on a budget that are just starting with their channels like i do actually you know it's a young channel and um i was asking myself the same question should i go for you know like these professional recorders like zoom recorders or should i just buy shotgun microphone i started with wireless system because i thought this is something very universal but actually and honestly it it is not the easiest thing if you want to do it only by yourself if you have somebody to help you it's always great but if you want to have something that you know you know just turn it on and it's rolling you just turn on the microphone definitely this comica cvm vm20 is a microphone that i can easy easily recommend okay guys so i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you find it you know informative or entertaining if you do please don't forget to leave thumbs up so you support this channel and i can create more content like that and don't forget of course to uh hit that subscribe button down there and of course i will place links to all the equipment i i have been testing in this episode down in the description below and please if you have some extra questions when uh, regarding these microphones or generally sound recording for youtube videos or for any kind of uh, videos you create don't forget to leave comments below okay guys so no more talking. I see you in the next episode. And I see you in the next episode. It didn't went very well, you know? Yeah, it kind of looks good, you know? And um, it feels good. Oh, and if it smells good, it doesn't smell too Chinese, actually, you know? Oof. Oh, maybe it does. I don't know. A little bit of plastic fantastic. No, but this is metal. Hmm? Yeah.